Welcome everyone, Andrew from IDB here. In the past, we've taken a look at some of the best scanning apps for iOS, including my absolute favorite, ScanBot. If you are a power user or scan a whole lot of documents, I highly encourage you to check out that video and ScanBot in particular. But in iOS 11, Apple has added that functionality natively, allowing you to actually scan documents right into the Notes app with no third-party application required. Obviously, there is no less than a thousand reasons why you may need to scan something. Common ones that I usually use it for is bills, business cards that I acquire from people, or just pictures and stuff that I want to digitize. The Notes app now makes that really, really easy to work either and save it in the Notes app or throw it over to a different application to do further editing or storage. It can even automatically detect the edges when you're scanning an object and automatically snap the photo or leave it up to you with a manual shot. Once it's saved into your phone, you can easily view the document, save it into the Notes app, move it around, edit it, anything that you may need to do when you actually import a scanned document. So let's go through the whole process from the beginning. Say I have a guide here on the Kensington Thunderbolt 3 docking station that I want to make into a PDF and save on my phone. I go ahead and create a new note where you can use an existing note and I give it a name of whatever it is I'm going to be working on in this specific case. So Kensington Thunderbolt 3 dock seems pretty appropriate. Down the bottom I hit the plus button and it automatically opens this scanner after I tell it I want to scan a document. I hold it above in some decent lighting and it will automatically detect the edges and automatically take the photo. Of course I can put it on manual mode if I want and I can adjust the cropping later but it can do all that automatic out of the gate making it really easy to get started. Along the bottom I have a few options like the filters, color, grayscale, black and white, or photo. Obviously all those will adjust the color and make it appropriate for that setting. Photo is really handy especially if you have some older photos that you want to import into your phone. Notes does its best to automatically detect the edges of your document but it's not always perfect. And that's why you can tap on the crop button in the lower left hand corner and just move the anchor points around manually and it even gives you a little magnifying glass to help you be more accurate. The last simple thing that you may need to do is rotate your image. Maybe it wasn't in the correct orientation and that's no problem. Simply tap on the document rotate button. Then you can trash it in the bottom right corner if it's wrong or tap retake in the top right hand corner. I can go ahead and get out of there and save it and go back to the camera because you can add multiple pages. Here I can cancel, adjust the flash, start the filter straight from here, or turn it into auto or manual mode for actually taking those photos. Once I've gone ahead and added all my documents, say I just have one or two pages, I can actually go back into it and add more pages with the new plus button that's now located in the lower left hand corner. I can even tap on that share sheet button in the top right hand corner and move it around to any number of applications, whether I'm messaging it or emailing it to someone, airdropping it onto my machine for further editing and work, or if I want to move it onto something like Affinity Photo on my iPad and really get in there and edit my photos that I just scanned in. Even multiple pages is no problem and you can swipe through them right from your main note screen. So what do you think of scanning documents inside of iOS 11? Let us know down below and check out all of our other iOS 11 videos. Until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.